Imagine an intruder in your home. It's a terrifying crime and one that's become more common in central Indiana the past few weeks. Now these are just some of the reported home invasions we want to show you now that are now at right now under investigation. Now in one case a family member shot and killed a would-be burglar right near the front door. And tonight only here on 13 one of the latest victims shared what happened with our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson. Lay on the floor don't look at me man before I shoot you in your m head by that time. This guy was taking the TV. Larry Williams showed Eyewitness News how two men forced their way into his East India apartment and ordered him around at gunpoint, threatening his life. I knew I was fighting a losing battle, so material things, they come and go. But I'm only here once. The burglars took his flat screen television from this TV stand. Since moving into the Carriage House apartments more than 10 years ago, the 61 year old says he has never seen violence like this. But that same violence has played out in other recent home invasions. Sunday night, burglars ransacked this East 14th Street house and left two women tied up. Last Saturday, burglars broke out these boarded up windows, police say, at this East 71st Street house during a home invasion. And during a bold break in earlier this month, a woman inside this Kingsley Drive home somehow managed to escape to call for help. But perhaps the most talked about recent home invasion involves burglary suspect 23 year old Derek Nash of Chicago. Police say the family responded with deadly force from inside this East 35th Street home striking Nash after he and another man started kicking in the front door. Grateful to have survived his own ordeal. Had he not got, the, got that door open, he would have probably shot me. Larry Williams now hopes his attack marks the end of the violent home invasions. I spoke with the family of Derek Nash. Uh, they are awaiting his body to re be returned to Chicago to finalize funeral plans. As police continue to look for the other suspects in the home invasion here on East 35th Street, they're urging people to keep your eyes and ears open and report any suspicious activity to 911. On the Crime Beat, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.